Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the UAE President, His Highness the Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, following the demise of Sheikh Isa bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Majesty also received two cables of condolences from the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister, and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and also the Abu Dhabi Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa delegated the Commander of the National Guard, General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, to attend the horse racing festival held for His Majesty's Cup held in Rafah, Sakhir, yesterday. The race was attended by the Chairman of the Supreme Committee for the Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Vice President of the Supreme Committee for the Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and horse racing fans. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa presented His Majesty's Cup for the Arabian Horses to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also presented His Majesty's Cup for locally bred horses the winning owner, Abdullah Fawzi Nas, His Majesty the King's Cup for imported horses to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Charter Cup to the winning owner, Mohammed Khalid Abd Rahim. Representative of uh, Netracel Company, Jason Singh, and has also been pre or presented the company's trophy to His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The event uh, comprised of five races.
The Ministry of Health today announced that 16 individuals have recovered from the coronavirus COVID-19 in the Kingdom of Bahrain, bringing the total number of confirmed recoveries to 60. The recovered individuals, eight males and three female Bahraini nationals, two male Saudi nationals, one male Egyptian national, one female Moroccan national and one male Greek national have been discharged from the isolation center after responding positively to medical care provided by a specialized medical team conforming with measures outlined by the World Health Organization, the WHO. The ministry highlighted that all individuals have undergone extensive medical testing to ensure their full recovery from the virus before being discharged and will continue to be monitored post-discharge. The ministry urged all individuals returning from Italy, South Korea, Egypt or Lebanon in the past two weeks to self-isolate for 14 days, avoid contact with others and schedule their mandatory medical examinations by contacting hotline number 444 or visiting the Ministry of Health's website. The Ministry of Health also announced that 14 additional individuals, who include 13 citizens, have been discharged after completing the mandatory 14-day quarantine period, bringing the total number of individuals discharged from the quarantine to 139. The Ministry noted that all quarantined individuals are being monitored and cared for by a specialized medical team in line with guidelines established by the World Health Organization to guarantee the containment of the virus and to preserve the health and safety of the community. Benefit, the kingdom's leading regional player in electronic financial transactions, has announced the launch of the SMS notification for credit report services. Customers who wish to activate this feature are able to do so through the website or by visiting the Bahrain Credit Information Center. More in this report with Mohamed Youssef. A wide range of transactions require a credit report, amongst other important documents, especially transactions related to credit facilities, loans, as well as providers of purchase installment services. The Bahrain Credit Reference Bureau is responsible for issuing credit reports that clarify the customer's current credit situation, in addition to including all the information and data related to their financial obligations, such as debts, installments, their terms and conditions, and other claims due and the due dates. The Bahrain Credit Reference Bureau has uh, launched the SMS notification services for the uh, clients which is the clients can receive an SMS notification on every access on his credit report. The client has to visit our uh, official website uh, benefit.bh and he can subscribe for this uh, service. The launch of the SMS notification for the credit report services is set to educate customers about the company's activities and its monitor procedures to ensure the customer's right to be notified if an inquiry took place regarding their credit record as well as complaints and disputes. We have recently launched uh, SMS service as part of our credit uh, report services uh, Bahrain Credit Reference Bureau. Uh, this service uh, basically focuses on establishing an awareness for the public on the utilization of the credit report and to enhance the customer right uh, as part of the credit bureau. Customer would receive an SMS notification whenever a member is actually inquire on their credit report, giving them an accessibility to know who have inquired about them, the reason of the inquiry, and the time and the institutions that have been inquired about. In addition to that, this would actually uh, establish a main communication with our customer uh, through an uh, SMS uh, notification and uh, through our basically call center and, and a branch. Benefit is a service provider to the Kingdom's financial services industry, specializing in the development of innovative electronic payment solutions, the management of electronic payment channels, settlement of dues, invoices and financial transfers in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The launch of the SMS notification for the credit report is in line with the company's efforts to provide digital solutions to save customers time and effort. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef. In our international news, the Saudi press agency cited an interior ministry statement as saying that Saudi Arabia will suspend international flights for two weeks from Sunday to slow down the spread of the coronavirus. The statement said that the suspension will begin at 11 a.m. on Sunday. Officials said that 24 new cases of COVID-19 infections were reported in the kingdom, raising the total to 86. Three civilians were killed and another was wounded by shelling by the Houthi militia. 
According to eyewitnesses, the Iranian-backed Houthi militia targeted with a guided missile a car carrying civilians in the Al Zahra neighborhood east of Ta'a city, and the militia continued to bomb the city residential neighborhood with artillery. Egyptian Foreign Minister Samah Shukri met with French Minister of Europe and Foreign Affairs Jean-Yves Le Drian. During the meeting, the Egyptian Foreign Minister stressed the importance for France and the European Union to make efforts to push Ethiopia to sign an agreement to fill and operate the Renaissance Dam in order to preserve security and stability in the Horn of Africa. And two ministers discussed ways to advance cooperation re relations between Egypt and France and regional and international issues of common concern. They agreed on the need of continuing the high-level meeting during the next stage and the continuation of coordination and consultation in combating terrorism. The commander of the U.S. Central Command, General Kenneth McKenzie, said the threat posed by Iran remains significant. The U.S. military officials stressed that he had not seen the decline in the danger of Iran and the groups that support it in the days following a confrontation between Washington and Tehran in January after the killing of the leader of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, Qasem Soleimani. McKenzie stressed that the threat remains very high and that he believes the tension has not actually decreased. The U.S. House of Representatives overwhelmingly passed a coronavirus aid package early today that would uh, provide free testing and paid sick leave in a bid to limit the economic damage from a pandemic that has shuttered, school or shuttered schools, sports arenas and offices. By a, by a parastatian vote of 363 to 40, the Democratic-controlled House passed a multi-billion dollar effort that would expand uh, safety net programs to help those who could be thrown out of work in the week weeks to come. President Donald Trump said he supported the package, raising the likelihood that it will pass the Republican-controlled Senate next week. Greece's first woman president yesterday began her term with a pledge to protect the country's borders and defend human rights, while warning Greeks to follow health rules as the country grapples with over 100 coronavirus cases. Katarina Skarkopolo, a 63-year-old former senior judge, said she would walk together with Greeks to create a prosperous and cosmopolitan future. Greece has so far announced 117 cases of the coronavirus, one of whom died on Thursday after 10 days in the hospital. The president also urged the public to follow health warnings to avoid spreading panic, which could tear apart the health system and harm the economy.